designs here. Wow, it has been a long time, but I'm glad to say that finals are over and it's summer, so you guys are going to be getting a lot more content and a lot more stuff, and I know I keep saying it, but never doing it and stuff like that, and that's just art school and design school. So any of you guys who are actually investing in going to these things, you are going to understand my pain. It has been a lot of work. I am tired. I am very happy with my uh, year. And uh, it is summertime, and it is time for me to relax and start pumping out videos for you guys and some tutorials. So, uh, we're going to get straight into this. Uh, I wanted to say before we even got to this, uh, thank you so much for you know sticking with me and doing everything you guys possibly can through this. I'm going to keep popping out some videos for you guys if you guys have any, you know, cool... Um, uh, you know, ideas, throw them in the uh, comment section, I'm always looking, and uh, you guys can check me out on, you know, my Twitter, Instagram, all the different links that'll be in the description, so check me out there, you know, the deal, blah, 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 you know. Okay, um, so, for people that don't know, um, I've been doing a lot of uh, work for fun, for Nike and stuff like that, because it, it's something that really appeals to me, I really do liking working with uh, clothing products and stuff like that, and branding them, and, um, and advertising for them because, you know, it's something that eventually I do want to go into, and that's kind of what I've been doing a lot in my school. So, um, you know, I put a lot of my projects towards these types of things, and, uh, you know, it's paid off because a lot of people do enjoy them. Um, so one of the things that people keep asking me about these is if you guys see the background and, you know, how I have this whole stage and the lighting and everything so you know, lit up, and a lot of people are like, oh, where, where's the stock, and uh, I, or, you know, do you have a stock for that, or, you know, is it in your, pa is there a pack for them, or something like that, um, no, there is not, uh, I, I'm thinking about making one, and if you guys like that, you know, maybe for, we'll say four or five hundred likes on this video, if that even happens, uh, I'll throw out a pack on Selfie or something, or whatever, but, um, you know, I make them 100% from scratch. So this is going to be a tutorial on advertisement uh, setups and light rooms and stuff like that. So we're just going to start with a simple 1920. Oh, God. It's late. Sorry, guys. By a 1080 uh, document or, uh, you know, composition, whatever floats your boat here. Um, and we are going to, uh, yeah, we'll use that, that's fine. And what we're going to do here, and, and for people that don't really, um, really aren't too familiar with this, um, as you guys can see, there's a lot of depth in this, and there's, you know, different things that really surround it to make this whole thing, you know, really work. And um, there's a lot that goes to it. So, you know, I don't know why I made this dark gray, because we're going to use it on black. Um, that's the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have a black document. Pretty simple. And you're going to want to uh, create a new layer. And there's plenty of ways you can do this part. Uh, you can take a square, you can, you know, it doesn't matter. I just do pen tool because I like to um, learn, or I like to, you know, really customize everything I do. So um, anybody who has taken drawing classes, or just knows anything about basic perspective, wherever this line that you're going to start this at is your horizon line. So that's where um, your floor stops and your uh, wall is going to stop. So that's where your wall and your floor are going to meet. Um, and we're just going to create a floor. And um, you're going to fill this path with, I usually do with a dark gray just so you know it's a lot easier to blend it instead of a white it's completely up to you guys you know you can do white and lower the opacity um, like I said completely up to you but that is what we're gonna start out with now already it kinda looks like a uh, a wall if you look at it a certain way like the black contrasting with the white and you can use it that way and you can do a million different things that way but we're not here to do that we're gonna make a really nice advanced light room so I kind of erase the bottom area, kind of, um, to where, you know, it's visible, 
uh, and you know I lower the opacity to about 60 and this is where it, you're gonna start to get a lot more of the depth orientation to that so after that we merge it down ah, take that back don't do that all right so after that we're gonna grab a brush again like a huge white soft brush now this is what this is gonna do is this is gonna center the depth again uh, this is going to be above and we're just gonna erase the top area now the reason I am erasing the top area is because this is where we're gonna get a, a light source of some sort on here and you can move this over or whatever it, it really doesn't matter but as you can see already it's kind of starting to give that depth of perception and, and whatnot uh, after that we're gonna make another you know similar uh, one and um, you're gonna erase the bottom where the horizon line is because you know that's where they meet and you don't want that and you're just going to make this about, you know, you can eye it depending upon what, what you enjoy. I, I tend to make it a little, you know, darker, some sort, just because, you know, I don't want people realizing some things. And already you can see that this is starting to look extremely floor-like etc etc looks pretty cool now if you guys see here in order to you know create that more depth like situation and stuff I had these lines and these strokes and these cool looking things on there and that's what we're gonna add real quick so after this I usually like to duplicate these and just merge one of them and deselect the bottom ones and kind of throw these in a folder just in case I want to come back to it so OG just for the original keep them untagged and this one I like to go I'm gonna uh, duplicate it filter gallery and if you guys don't know what I'm doing I'm just trying to get rid of the gradient banding just so it's a little bit yeah and that's the problem here guys is this is the type of stuff because of the filter itself kind of frustrating with these things but thank god I know how to get around that and it's just a pretty simple and it goes back to normal and once again if you zoom in here you're gonna to start to see the banding again it's gonna start giving you noise but that's completely fine it kinda of, you can you can get away with that especially with you know what depending upon what you're doing <coughs> okay so last or one of the things we're going to do before we really get into the detailed part is we're going to make a white square right here. Oh, forgot I didn't switch back to the move tool. And we're going to just make a nice white square here. Rasterize it, overlay. Now what this is going to do is it's just going to give a little bit of a sense of Mm, not necessarily depth, but it's just going to give, you know, hey, you know, here's where this area is, this type, you know, situation, and so the viewer is going to, and we're going to, you know, understand where it is. And then we're going to make a darker white, or maybe even an off-white, you know, I, actually, to be honest, I'm going to go with a darker white, maybe even onto the gray scale, but uh, that's perfect. And we're going to just put that again in the middle of it, rasterize and we're going to overlay once again and with both of these we're gonna um, I like to add a blur and same thing with this one so it kinda gives it that that effect again and then after that we're going to kind of get, we're going to do a good old, uh, oops, well, this will work actually, I think. Let's see. To give this horizon line another, does that work? Eh, no, we're going to give it something else. We're going to make sure that you click a brush that is start skinny, gets thick in the middle. I don't know what the exact name of that is. Uh, 
for anybody that does, that would be awesome if you do. <laughs> I just know it as a, as a brush that gets skinny, but um, yeah, we're going to make it about mm, 25 pixels. Make sure you have it on a new layer. Make sure it's not gray like I keep doing. White, a little bit off here. That's fine. Overlay. Lower the opacity. That's completely good. Okay. Now that we have that, we can start to add textures to this. Now, your floor, of course, is going to want to be a little bit more of a grungy texture. Now, if you have my pack, of course, a lot of free grungy textures or walls and stuff like that. So, yeah, we'll use this as the wall. And this is a great texture just because it already kind of has a horizon line on here. And we'll just... What we're going to do here is this one we're going to add, you know, this perspective onto it. And we're going to stretch this completely out to pretty much match the floor. Now, of course, I need to zoom out a little bit more just in order to see what I'm doing. But course we have that and we're going to switch that to overlay um, looks pretty good so far just give me that lower the opacity a tad and then uh, We'll find another texture that kind of goes well with it. Uh, this one kind of looks cool. This one will work perfect for the background. Yeah. And, um, you know, even though this is going to blur it, it's fine because I'm going to blur it anyways. But stretch this over the back. We're going to just erase where the horizon line is again. Of course, guys, if you haven't realized, the horizon line is the most important part of this whole thing. Switch it to overlay. And there you have a Lightroom. Um, now, there's this is just one of the Lightrooms that I can make. You can make a very clean one. Uh, as I'll show you another example in a second. But... Um, for people that don't know, also you need to add a source of light. If you don't have a source of light, guys, I will tell you 100% your stuff will not work. Um, one of the easiest ways is grab a soft brush, have white, click the top, and lower the opacity down to about, mm, yeah, 25 looks pretty cool actually. Uh, that works, or if you actually have my... Um, 60k pack um, at the bottom I found these great brushes I don't know who makes them they were 100% free um, but they have their lights and they kind of they're pretty cool so you know I and that kind of and that you can put a product in there and boom shadows you can add more white to certain areas so let's throw something in here real quick so we'll do a quick thing kind of like, you know, uh, I'll throw in like my logo or something and just kind of give you guys a uh, understanding of how <laughs> you, you, would, uh, you would work with this. So let me just get to my logo because, you know, my computer is really slow now. I've got an old Mac, boys. But uh, all right. is this the vector? Yes, it is. Okay. So let this open up real quick, show you what I'm kind of working with here. Okay. And uh, so hypothetically, you know, you want to put this under the light. Uh, hypothetically, we're going to make the gradient like a nice... We'll just make it a different color, kind of something like this. And then give it some depth. 
I'm just doing this real quick in Photoshop, everyone, so don't don't freak that I'm like, you know, doing something that looks kind of weird. It's just something quick. Uh, just making some 3D layers. Just want to kind of show you a little, little preview of what it's going to look like. Okay, so now once I have, you know... Throw quick overlay on this just okay. So now you know to get that shadow effect, you just duplicate whatever layer you're using the shadow on, you transform it, and you just scale it down to this. You go filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and you make it black. Kind of do something to that extent and move it like that and you kind of have a room and you can kind of see a shadow here which this one kind of needs to be a little bit more like that yeah and you know it, it looks kind of like a, a room of some sort and you know there's different shadows and you can really screw around with things uh of course in this one you have smoke um a lot of people in, in shoe ads and stuff like that they'll have like grass or or you know uh, basketball floors or something, you know, something like that. But that's pretty basic, uh, pretty simple. If you guys are really interested in, in me, you know, making a pack that you guys can use, you know, let me know. Um, I just came up with that as I was doing the tutorial, but I think that would be really, really cool. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know. Um, uh, but other than that, I mean, thank you guys for, you know, sticking around and still being here and through, I mean, thick and thin, this is unbelievable, you know, to say that I almost have a 65,000 subscriber channel is, is, it's insane, but, um, you know, almost 50,000 followers on Twitter, just hit a thousand on Instagram, thank you so much, so, it means so much to me, so definitely check out all that stuff, check out my self-life for some great stuff, and uh, I've been ready, guys, deuces.